Chair Neron, it's so nice to see you. Vice Chair Hudson, members of the committee, I want to thank you for the opportunity to be able to speak today. This is, this is something that is very near to my heart. For the record, my name is Suzanne Weber, and I have the privilege of representing rural Northwest Oregon in, Oregon in the Oregon Senate, and I'm here today to testify in favor of House Bill 3584. As a teacher, a mother, and a legislator, the reality of dangerous occurrences in and around our schools is troubling to me on multiple levels. First, as a mother, I cannot fathom the reality where my child would be involved in a lockdown at their school, and I don't know about it until I read about it in a news report, a social media uh, commentary in the newspaper, the evening news, or the most troubling is when your child comes home from school and answers the, and you ask the question, how was your school day? And you are hit with, we were in a lockdown. That's hard enough with a high school student, but imagine it with a first grader. And I speak to you from my heart on this. I had a child kidnapped out of my classroom by a non-custodial parent. And it changed the way our school district and our school did things from that time on. And there are still students that I meet that will say to me, remember when that guy stole Greg? So this, this is something that went home, but it didn't go home in a way that was very positive. And so I think that with HB um, 3584 being simple, it requires that parents and school employees be notified electronically in the event of a safety threat. This allows parents and others to be given immediate, real-time information in the end event of a, a lockdown. And this is way past the time that, you know, I taught in a school district where we had um, tornado um, alerts. And the community had been destroyed by a tornado. And so it didn't take much when the parents saw the color of the sky. They knew they had to go to the school and get their kids. We are past that. It's not the color of the sky anymore. This will allow parents to be given immediate real-time information in the event of a lockdown. And for most districts, this won't be a very big lift. Most districts already have texting systems in place to ensure that parents and school community members are notified of important events like weather delays, cancellations, event reminders, and announcements. Asking schools to use those systems to also keep parents informed of safety threats, using these same systems is not too much to ask. Students deserve to go to school in peace and safety, and parents deserve peace of mind when their children are in school to know that their children are safe and secure. Unfortunately, bad people do bad things, and when those bad things do happen, parents have the right to know what the situation is every step of the way, and House Bill 3584 assures that they do. As a teacher, my students were my second family, and I would want to make sure that their parents were informed about what was happening at their school every step of the way. As a legislator, I know that this is the right thing to do to secure the rights of parents. But most importantly, as a mother, I would want to know every single detail that I could if my children were ever in this situation and the possibility of harm's way was was in, and there was the possibility of them being in harm's way. And I would want to know that they are safe and secure in a time of danger. So I want to thank you, Madam Chair, for allowing me to be here today and committee members um, to be able to present this most important idea, and I hope it will be supported totally. Thank you. Thank you. Testimony. 